Hey, Gimp with the camera here. Don't know if you caught that drama alert with the Charlie Chill interview in Keenstar. You know, it doesn't really seem to change anything. Everywhere he goes, he's still spouting bullshit. No matter what he does, he's always coming up with some excuse that somebody else's fault or something happened, you know, 17, 18, 20 years ago almost. Back when he got a felony in 2001, apparently, some 16 years ago. But that doesn't change some of the shit he's doing. Potentially giving kids drugs and alcohol? That... That's not reasonable. I don't care if you got a felony 16 years ago or not. There's no excuse for that. There's no excuse for hitting a woman. There's no excuse for trashing your brother's pool house. That said, I hope the man gets some help, and I hope he does something, but I think Keemstar may have a point when it comes to the fact that maybe he should just go to jail and get clean that way, because obviously, you know, he just needs to do something. He needs to be doing something that's not giving him time to screw up. Let him go to jail, let him get clean, let him get out and do some work. Do something. If nothing else, focus all his energy on his YouTube channel where he's working 24-7 on that. And then he's not got time to be drunk or on LSD or whatever. But throughout the entire interview, just about, he's making excuses of, oh, this happened because of this, and these people caused this, and they're lying about that, and they're lying about this. Bullshit. I seriously doubt it's all lies. Now, is it possible the charge of the kids claiming that he gave them alcohol and weed? Is that Could that be suspect? Yeah, because we all know kids can lie. But at the same time, he's done other things to those kids that the kids did not tell anybody about. From, you know, being physically abusive to them. That they were too scared to do. They were too scared to say anything about. So, it's up in the air, I suppose, on what could have happened there. But to sit there and act like his sister wanted to be raped at nine years old and that she wanted it, more bullshit. More excuses and more things to blame other people for his wrongdoing. The man just needs to accept responsibility for his actions and... Get better. Do something to better himself and do something to better his life and quit screwing up other people's lives around him. This will be the last video unless there's some major update that I do over Charlie Chill. But unless there's some major update, this will be the last video. So this is the last thing I'm really going to say about it. I had somebody that commented yesterday that said that or made a comment about Things that Bridget, Michael, and Angry Grandpa could be associated with or in trouble about legally for their inaction on some of the abuse charges that they are now claiming took place. Now, the way they make it, the way Angry Grandpa, Michael, and all them make it sound is that they, the day that he, that Charlie Chill was kicked out of his father's house that that was because they found out about the they found out about the drugs and alcohol and all that stuff and possibly that's when they found out about some of the abuse going on but if they didn't know i don't know why the kids would have been talking to their therapist about it you know months ago but if they knew about it as he said as was mentioned in one of the comments yesterday they could be in legal trouble for not reporting it, for allowing the abuse to continue, if the if the if the alleged abuse did continue, past the point of them knowing about it. Personally, I think they should have reported it immediately. I understand that you want to protect family, you want to keep it in the family, and keep things taken care of. But if they knew about it and they did not remove him from the situation immediately, then they could be in some legal trouble. That said, I hope that's not the case. I, I hope they didn't let him stay around those kids after knowing. 
But that doesn't change the fact of what he did. My videos have not been about the wrongdoing of the, any wrongdoing in the family because I don't know the full legal ways around things, especially in other states outside the state of Texas. So I don't know the legal ramifications that the family could be in jeopardy with, but I do know the things that Charlie Chill, a.k.a. Charlie Green, has been accused of. And the things that he's been accused of are vile and disgusting. And I hope he gets help. So this is the last video you'll get from me on this, unless there's some major update within the case and within the story. And I will bring that to you if that happens. But anyhow, y'all have a great day. And check out my other videos.